Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this session, I'm going to explain about the collection management. And in this session, we are going to learn what is collection management, what is the process of the collection management. And um, and I, I, I would like to start with this uh, FSCM. Uh, FSCM means uh, Financial Supply Chain Management. In this Financial Supply Chain Management, Collection Management is a, one of the sub modules. And basically, this collection management is a uh, helpful to the business to to follow up and update the uh, update the information update the information into the system for their customers open open items open item and outstanding balance line items those all things and in generally uh, generally uh, uh, in the configuration part so uh, basically as a consultant we have to create one uh, collection segment in that collection segment we will be assigning uh, we will be creating a collection profile and a collection uh, a strategy and all those will be assigned to this collection segment and finally this uh, this will be assigned to the company code and company code and there will be one task uh, there is one integration is there uh, AR and uh, collection management to AR integration so with the help of that integration all the documents will be flowing to uh, the collection management uh, module um, so for that uh, we need to perform one activity and uh, I will show you and I will, uh, will walk through those all the details and I will show you those all as well and uh, basically you know uh, they will be from end user part uh, the collection specialist will be there so for the collection specialist whatever the collection uh, whatever the uh, collection uh, group has been assigned to him so in that group uh, he will be having multiple uh, customers for those customers he need to uh, follow up for the payment and uh, get the things updated in the system so so then let's get it started uh, so as of now, I will show you the uh, what are the customers I have in the in the in my current system. I will show you those all things. For that, I am accessing the ABL five and transaction code here. And here we can say uh, my company code is two thousand, and I am selecting as an open item as of today, and I am executing it. We'll see first uh, how many customers we have. So for this customer, I have one, two, and uh, I have totally four customers here. Four customers and i'm going another screen here and here if you can uh, go to the accounting and here we can see the financial supply chain management and here we can see the collection management okay and uh, here in the work list you will see the collection specialist and collection supervisor collection supervisor and a supervisor is a uh, in the head of for all the collection specialist he can see you can able to see the, all the work lists of uh, each uh, end user so now we are uh, I'm going into a collection specialist the transaction code would be uh, UDM underscore specialist so my work list is transaction code so currently uh, system is here showing only three uh, customers Three customers so i will take the example of uh, this easy and private limited so we need to select this one and i need to click on here process receivables so as of now i can we can see here only three documents are showing in my in, in my standard report if you can see for this customer uh, just a second let me come down here so easy and private limited here we can see the three line items and the same thing we can see here in the three line items and now uh, what i will do i will post one transaction to this uh, this customer then uh, how system is updating this how the uh, data data is being going going to the from ar to uh, ar to collection management we will see here so let me post one transaction uh, for that i'm using ab70 transaction code here and this is my customer and I'm using the some backdated posting I'm doing. Okay, and the amount is I'm taking as a five thousand. Some ra some random posting I'm doing here. save document has been posted now I will come one step back uh, 
I'm again coming back. I'm again executing my work list. I'm selecting this event private limited. I'm executing this. So system has uh, considered this one uh, 5000. Uh, the new record also system has picked it. So basically how system will pick I will show you here now. So here if you can go to the accounting tab and financial supply chain management here we have the collection management so uh, we need to perform some activities before uh, before go, uh, before going to pro, uh, check the work list uh, this uh, these activities are which I'm, uh, we need to as a consultant we have to perform the three activities in the real time these activities will not be performed because uh, this, uh, this for these activities uh, they will be scheduling the background job as per the as per daily or uh, daily and uh, hourly basis they will mostly uh, schedule the back background jobs and uh, every every time uh, the transaction has been posted a b6 a b70 uh, the customer invoices uh, it will automatically update the uh, this collection management it will the, the, those document directly flow to the uh, collection management with the help of this background jobs so here we need to click on this uh, integration with accounts receivable accounting and periodic processing and we need to execute uh, this transaction code fdm underscore coll underscore send zero one so here uh, if we are doing we have uh, three options here uh, for uh, periodic data transfer we need to select this radio button if uh, initial data transfer means uh, when when we have to select uh, this option is whenever we are going live uh, for the collection management then first time uh, consultant will select this option and uh, he will mention maintain the company code range and then he will uh, execute this this one and going for after that we need to select uh, periodic data only and if in uh, in a specific cases um, we have to select this option customer specific uh, transfer so generally we will use only periodic data transfer only so i'm selecting the company code here the company code is 2000 and i'm removing the test data just run and I'm executing here see uh, business partner updated company code 1 one transaction number of updated items in company code 2003 documents has been system considered whether it's a payment whether it is payment is done then system will go to this collection management and remove those line items those line items will be uh, we cannot so, uh, see those line items because uh, the payment has been done for that so uh, the that line item will automatically remove from the collection management okay and one task is completed now now we have i'm going back and again we have to go to periodic processing and work list and we need to create uh, the work list here creation of work list udm underscore gnwl so here we need to select the collection segment and uh, click on start online and execute it and these two transactions are uh, happen uh, mostly this two transaction will be scheduled on the background background on an hourly basis or uh, as per the business requirement they will uh, schedule those th these two transactions once these two are done then uh, then uh, then uh, the, once those two are done then uh, as uh, end user will go to his uh, work list Okay, it's currently opened. So let me close this session. Okay, uh, end, user, end user means a collection specialist will go to his transaction code, this, and then he will see the all the customers of customers, and for each customer he need to go, he need to select and click on process receivable, and then he can he can able to see all the documents which are uh, uh, which are pending pending for the due uh, collection specialist will be able to see those all those documents here so for this uh, we need to select each line item and click on here uh, whether uh, we uh, we have contact the customer and then uh, customer said uh, 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 he agreed to payment uh, pay make the payment this payment on a month on a month end like that we need to click on the promise to pay then here we need to enter uh, how much amount he is agreed to pay and uh, promise it for and we need to enter the date or promise it for on which date he will be paying those amount let's suppose I'm taking the 30 30 august and then promise it by that guy name we need to mention here 
some X I am mentioning and if you have any email ID and uh, uh, we need to mention the phone number and all those things and we, if you have any comments with it then we can mention here any comments any comments we can mention here and we need to save this one and then this for this line item automatically system has a uh, saved one promise to pay and then uh, we, we can see that line item in here in this tab promise to pay tab here we can see uh, this one and whenever this payment is uh, done uh, whenever this end user has passed this f-28 uh, incoming payment transaction incoming payment transaction for this document then system will automatically remove this promise to pay and as well as that line item will uh, appear, uh, disappear from here as well here also that line item will be disappeared and and we also have uh, promise to pay is done and dispute case uh, for this dispute case i will prepare one more uh, video for the dispute management and we'll uh, we will discuss uh, there uh, and resubmission resubmission means uh, 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 we will be having some reason why we are resubmission resubmitting this document and all those things here so resubmission date uh, we need to select something here and we will be having some dates here um, I mean to say uh, contact person is absent and contact person requested call back and uh, he's not uh, we, we try to reach out the uh, customer but we are uh, he's not picked uh, picked our call or he's not responded to our uh, calls or anything meeting or anything so we will be in those cases we will be using the resubmission it means uh, today I try to reach out to my customer but uh, due to some unavailable, unavailable or uh, if so some emergency issues is not available uh, for the call so uh, we are uh, we are rescheduling the call for tomorrow tomorrow that in that cases we will be using the res, uh, resubmission option so for that we need to maintain the uh, what is the reason so for customers still waiting for delivery like that so i will mention the uh, uh, resubmission this uh, reason as a contact uh, absent and the resubmission time tomorrow we can uh, ignore it and resubmission date today's date we can mention today i try to reach out the customer but he's not available we can mention the comment as well here and we just need to click on the save yes for those items you can see the uh, resubmission button here Just a second. This event is the past. Okay, resubmission date. I will mention as twenty first. Click on save here. Submission was created uh, so uh, that did means uh, when again uh, we are going to uh, uh, we're going to connect with the user connect with the customer we need to update that that, that date there so then uh, it will automatically create the resubmission then uh, we can see those resubmission all those things in here in this tab resubmission tab and this customer contact so for each line item whenever we open this uh, process receivable whatever the customers uh, we have reached uh, reached out we can update here so to whom we have reached out uh, for each customer we need to prepare uh, one uh, one customer contact to whom we have uh, uh, reached for the for their open item for, for the balance due then uh, we need to what are the comments they have provided all those things we can uh, we can write down here his name and uh, his telephone number all those things and if you have any notes we can maintain here by creating any no notes and we can maintain here okay let's uh, for and for we'll see here uh, for this customer we we have uh, four line items uh, let me do one, uh, one transaction posting by posting an incoming payment f-28 then we'll see uh, whether the system is uh, uh, removing the line item or not yeah, I'm opening the new tab and I'm going to the for f-28 screen for the incoming payment okay and I'm taking today's date uh, 
for example I'm taking this 30,000 and the customer is the payment for this I can to this document 18000 ending with 17 okay. yes document has been posted now I will come back from this screen so whenever you click on a come back uh, one step back from those uh, that customer system will ask you for this uh, customer contact option so customer reach we need to update the, all the details here by automatically system will update all the printing so uh, whether we have created one promise to pay for these and uh, any submission resubmission is there and any contact uh, is a uh, uh, person is not reached all those information will be updated automatically here so here we can see contact person request callback has been created for the following invoice blah 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 zero one whatever all the activities we perform for when we open the for one customer line item all the activities will be recorded and it will be updated in the customer contact so I'm saving this one specify name the contact person so next and just click on save it will save now I'm going back that customer has been removed from the my uh, work list for as of today and I'm going back one step back here and again I need to execute this one to update the the payment entry to the payment entry and do the test run and execute this one see here system has uh, considered one document we have make the payment uh, one line item we have paid right so for that document system has considered and go back period of processing work list creation of work list and I'm selecting this one start online executing here and now I'm going back to uh, my work list and for the same uh, customer we have, for which we have made the payment I will show you the payment document as well here so we have uh, made the payment for this customer is then previously limited and I'm going to this we need to select this one and click on process receivables and here I can see only three line items in earlier we, we are able to see four line items uh, yeah, thirty thousand. This entry, we, uh, this entry, we have made the payment for this entry. Okay, so now it's not, it's not appearing from here. So whenever you make the payment, system will automatically uh, remove that line item. And whatever the payment has been, uh, we have recently done. So those those line item will appear here in the payment tab, and you will see the promise to pay also, that uh, which we have created the promise to pay and the customer contact we have contacted one customer and resubmission and all those details whatever we have uh, done for those customers the uh, system will record each and every activity here so uh, this is what about uh, this collection management in general yeah for to reach uh, this uh, this for this process uh, at the back end we have uh, we have some configuration we have to do the, the configuration then only uh, system will perform uh, as per the as per the below back end configuration only system will act like this okay I hope uh, you guys understood the session today today session and going forward I will be I will be covering this uh, dispute management and uh, this crate management as well. Okay. Thank you for your support. Please uh, do like and subscribe, subscribe my channel. Thank you.